Hey, hey, Crips here, and as always, thanks for joining me. There you go. All right, so if you're getting right into video editing or photography, uh, by now you realize color grading is super important. But the problem is sometimes when we work with color grading, let's say we're working on a uh, still image like photography, everything looks fine on your computer, but then when you output it and you go to print, it looks different to what you had on your computer, and you're like, hey, what's going on? You upload a video to YouTube, look on a mobile device, and again, the colors are all wrong, overexposed, underexposed, bleached out, whatever. What we need to do, we need to calibrate our monitor so that we can work with color grading better in these types of softwares. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, there's two ways you can do it. You can buy an accessory like Spider. It looks like a mouse. You mount it onto your whole screen. With the software, you can calibrate it. But that, that incurs a cost, and I'm going to show you how I do it, which is for free. Now I'm using what we call an IPS monitor from what I from what I was led to believe these are really good for video editing or color grading with uh, different software. So what we need to do, we need to download a little software called Quick Gamma and I'll show you where to get that. So just go here, Quick Gamma. I will put the link in the description and this is the tool we're going to use to calibrate our monitors. So scroll halfway down, you'll see here the download. So download this one and download Visual C++ as well. Now once you have that, a little icon will appear on your desktop. Double click and it launches it. So you've got different options on monitors. So I might just choose this one here. Oh, sorry. That one's completely off screen. <laughs> Let me find one that is actually on screen. There you go. All right, so now we have this one. Now we need to go to the website, another website. You no need to download anything. How to calibrate your PT Gamma, okay. Now here, this little window will pop out. There you go. So you click on this one here and then it pops out onto your monitor. And then from here, you can then start adjusting your monitor. Now obviously, I've already tuned mine in. So what you would normally be greeted with is this red gamma would be completely, there's like a square, this side and this side. You need to match the two sides as close as possible. So go into gamma here, and then you adjust these settings up or down to get as close as you can to where these two squares match. So here I might be still a little bit off, so I might just adjust this down slightly until that green matches the green. So I'm now a little bit off again. So it's just a matter of playing up or down until the two match. You may, when you first get it, there's gonna be a huge difference in the two. Once you're happy with this, you press OK, and then you press OK again, and it basically says, we have changed the settings on your computer and then you press OK, and then just close everything. So now when you launch your video editor, or whatever it is, you're going to get closer to the true color when you then render this out or you go to print. Now, Windows 7 also comes with its own calibration. Um, just go here to the search, display, and you'll see here, calibrate, calibrate display color, and that will give you a guide. So just go through this guide. Now, I, I don't want to do that because then I'm going to upset my settings so very simple follow the instructions and again but honestly you don't really need to do that if you're using a quick gamma so that's how we can calibrate our monitors so that when we do work in photography and video editors the color that we see here is also the color you will see on youtube or when you go to print so there you go my friends i hope you've learned something today and as always thanks for watching